I'm Tim Pierce here at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. A snail farmer every evening would put his snails on a turntable before they went to bed. When his friends asked him why he did that, he said, well, in business school, I was told I should rotate my stock. The snail and the slug were good friends, and one day they made a plan to go backpacking together. They waited for the, the appointed day, and then the snail was waiting and waiting. Finally, the slug showed up, and the snail said, but you forgot your backpack. Once upon a time, there was a snail crawling up an apple tree. It was in the springtime. And a sparrow came along and said, snail, why are you climbing this apple tree? There are no apples up there to eat. And the snail said, by the time I get there, there will be. Escargot is the French word for snail. You can go to a fancy French restaurant and you can ask for escargot and they will bring you a plate full of snails. You cannot get escargot in McDonald's. And the reason is McDonald's serves fast food. Remember that snail who bought the car with the S painted on the side? His friends would say, look at that escargot. I was riding around with him one time and he said, I'm a magician. Watch this. I can turn this car into a driveway. And he did. He just turned right into the driveway. Cone snails are sea snails that are carnivorous and predatory. They have a hypodermic dart and they can inject venom into their prey. If you Google cone snail feeding, one of the videos shows a cone snail eating a clownfish. The joke is cone snails don't really like eating clownfish because if it's a clownfish, it tastes funny. I'm Tim Pierce here at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with another snail joke for you. I found a new snail buddy and I took him home with me. The snail took one look at my house and said, whoa, I wouldn't want to have to carry that on my back. One spring day, the snail went to the boss snail and said, can I have a week off at Christmas time? And the boss snail said, uh, it's May. And the snail said, oh, excuse me, um, may I have a week off at Christmas time? I'm Tim Pierce of Carnegie Museum of Natural History, currently distancing from home with a snail joke for you. A snail went into the local coffee shop and got a cup of coffee. And when the snail sipped the coffee, the snail said, this coffee tastes like mud. And the barista said, I'm not surprised. It was ground this morning. I'm Tim Pierce here at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with another snail joke for you. A snail was munching on a very tasty morsel and part of it dropped. Another snail said, oh, don't worry about it. You can still eat it. You can use the five hour rule. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History working from home with a snail joke for you. Which is faster, a snail or a slug? Well, you never see slugs on the menu at the French restaurant. I'm Tim Pierce here at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with another snail joke for you. Why do snails usually lose arguments? Because they don't have a leg to stand on. I'm Tim Pierce here at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. What is a snail's favorite Julie Andrews movie? The Sound of Mucus. I'm Tim Pierce here at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. What did the snail say when it was riding on the back of a turtle? Whoa, slow down. I want to get there, but I want to get there alive. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History, distancing at home with a snail joke for you. Why are snails so well prepared for the coronavirus? It's because they already work from home. Hi, this is Tim Pierce from Carnegie Museum of Natural History with another mollusk joke for you. Two British people who study cephalopods, that's squids and octopus, met one day, one handed to the other one a very ill-looking cephalopod and said, here's the sick squid I owe you. I'm Tim Pierce here at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. The best baseball playing slug of all times was Slicky Mantle. He wasn't much of a slugger, but you should see him slide into home plate. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a fun snail fact for you. People often ask me what my favorite snail is, and of course I can never find what my favorite one is, but one of my favorites is this really bright green snail. This is called Papustyla pulcherima, and it lives on only one island in the Pacific Ocean, Manus Island, and they live up in the trees, and they are really strikingly green. It's no longer legal to sell them because People on Manus Island were chopping down the trees to get the tree snails, and it was causing deforestation. 
That's a very brilliant green snail. I love it. I'm Tim Pierce from Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. But first, a fun fact. This purple snail in the genus Janthina blows bubbles, and then it floats around on this bubble raft its whole life. And when they bump into a jellyfish, the snail eats the jellyfish. <laughs> and then sometimes the wind blows the wrong way, and all of these snails end up on the shore. They get marooned. These purple snails are marooned. Oh, snails, I hope you have a marvelous day. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a fun fact for you, followed by a snail joke. There's one snail, one land snail in the world, known to glow in the dark. It has a glow organ located underneath its chin. It's called Quantula striata, and it lives in Indonesia. That part is true. The joke is that one day, a Quantula striata was so surprised, his jaw dropped all the way to the floor and fell off. The snail was delighted. Snails have amazing brains. Scientists study their brains to study how neurons work. Some snails have neurons, individual nerve cells in their brains, one millimeter in diameter. A millimeter sounds pretty small, but it's big for a cell. Some squid have neurons that are a meter long. Scientists are used those to study how nerves transmit information. And some slugs can actually learn and remember things for up to five days. Those are all true facts. The joke is, I have a really smart snail that I've been teaching the alphabet. And the snail has learned almost the entire alphabet, but it can only get up to X. And I said to the snail, how come you can only get up to X? And the snail said, I don't know why. There was a snail rancher who asked the assistant, hey, can you please round up 100 snails for a escargot order? And so the assistant brought the snails in and said, here are your snails. And the rancher said, hey, wait a minute. I only see 96 snails here. I asked for 100. And the assistant said, well, yeah, you said I should round them up. Hi, I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. A snail's favorite amusement park to go to is Disnail Land. Hello, I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. Why does a French snail lay only one egg at a time? Because in France, one egg is enough. Hello, I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. What do you call a snail with no eyes? A snarl. Hello, I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum with a snail joke for you. What does a snail do on its birthday? It celebrates. Three snails were sitting around talking about coincidences. And the first snail said, My wife was reading Ali Baba and the 40 Thieves, and she laid 40 eggs. The second snail said, Wow, that's amazing. My wife was reading 101 Dalmatians, and she laid 101 eggs. The third snail said, Oh my goodness, I better get home. My wife has been reading 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. A tiny snail was riding on the back of a fly. The fly said, Hey, snail on my back, shall we dance? The snail said, Why do you ask that? Are you a jitterbug? The fly said, That's the stupidest joke I ever heard. The snail said, Well, I made it up on the fly. Snails are very important in the food web. For example, in the springtime, mother birds lay eggs covered with a calcium carbonate shell. Where does the mother bird get all that calcium carbonate for her eggshells? From eating snails, whose shells are made of calcium carbonate. No snails, no birds, and no snail jokes. Speaking of snail jokes, do you know the difference between an egg and a snail? Well, if you don't know, I'm not sending you to the store to buy a dozen eggs. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. Two snails have taken up residence on top of my stove. I overheard one of them say, I've always wanted a home on the range. I'm Tim Pierce from Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. Remember the snail who got an S painted on the side of his car? Somebody stole the wheels off of his car. The snail has been working tirelessly to try to find out who did it. One day, Anshul got on the bus, and she saw a snail. She said, are you a snail riding the bus? And the snail said, yes. And Anshul said, why are you riding the bus? The snail said, oh, I'm going to the sporting goods store. They're having a big sale 
on canoe paddles. And Ansel said, canoe paddles? The snail said, yes, it's a huge ordeal. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. One time there was a snail and there was another snail talking and the other snail said, are you even listening to me? And the first snail said, that's a weird way to start a conversation. Did you know that there are cannibal snails? Snails that eat other snails? Scary! The rosy wolf snail that occurs in Florida, this one loves to eat other snails. You can see these little projections to the side of the uh, lower tentacles. They look a little like a mustache. Those are really good at smelling. They can actually detect the slime trails of other snails. It detects a slime trail and somehow, we don't know how, but somehow it knows which direction and so it turns in the correct direction and then suddenly starts going really rapidly. They can go about three times the, the average speed of a snail and then it catches up to the prey snail and then if it's a small prey snail they will just swallow the whole thing. But if it's a larger snail they'll just go in through the aperture and then just start munching away. <clears throat> so that's the rosy wolf snail. It is a fearsome predator so I'm glad that I'm bigger than it is or it would be really something scary. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. A snail went to the police station and said, hey, these two turtles beat me up. And the cop said, well, did you get a good look at them? No, said the snail. It all happened so fast. You might think that a snail is slow and you might think that a cabbage would be even slower. But if a snail and a cabbage ran a race, at the end of the race, the cabbage would be ahead. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. My friend asked me, what's the best way to draw snails? And I said, plant hostas. You will draw them into your garden. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. My friend got a pet snail and I said, that's really cool. What are you going to name it? And my friend said, hmm, I'm thinking about naming it Shelley Noel. And I said, wow, that's a really pretty name. But wait, how are you going to spell Shelley with no L? I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. What's the difference between where a snail is and how fast a snail goes? One is a snail space. The other is a snail's pace. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a snail joke for you. Be on the lookout for a snail in your neighborhood who's stealing shirts in order of size. Apparently he's still at large. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a fun fact and a literary snail joke for you. The fun fact is that mother of pearl is the shiny substance secreted by all mollusks and it's the material that is, actually makes pearls. So any mollusk that can secrete mother of pearl could also make pearls. Abalones are a kind of a snail and they are one of the most famous for making mother of pearl. Mother of pearl is used in making jewelry. It's on the neck of your guitar, the little inlays. The mother of pearl is beautiful stuff. The literary joke is in the book, The Scarlet Letter, Hester Prynne had to wear a big red A on her chest. Hester Prynne, she had a daughter named Pearl. And so the A stands for abalone because she was the mother of pearl. I'm Tim Pierce at Carnegie Museum of Natural History with a mollusk joke for you. Fun fact, octopuses and squids are famous for being able to change their color to blend in with the background. They can change their color very quickly. Here's a joke for you. There was a husband octopus who was changing colors every 15 seconds. His wife octopus got tired of this. She said, I'm sick of this, I'm leaving. And the husband octopus said, wait, I can change.